everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me. I know why you're watching this video because it's a 66 Impala with the added Super Sport 396 package and it is good looking, right? The wheel and tire combination, uh, the color combination, the condition, the detail of everything, super nice, right? Uh, also, this is kind of in the in the beginning phases of what we do here and that's called an early video and people ask me well tone what exactly is an early video well an early video is when we get these cars they don't always look the way you end up getting them they we end up adding our dress and love to them and give it a, a look and a feel uh, that makes it a very different car Secondly, while we're in the process of that, if you get in early enough, you can actually add, change, adjust, or do whatever to the car the way you want it so that you get exactly what you want, right? And that's kind of cool. Today, we're gonna spend some time, we're gonna talk about some things you can and can't do to the car. We're gonna talk about some of the features and options that are on it. We're gonna show the restoration of it. You've seen the undercarriage pictures, it's really nice. You've seen the engine compartment pictures, it's really nice. We're gonna do video of stuff. We're gonna check chrome, stainless, some upgrades that are going inside the car as well. Uh, the old pictures or the original pictures, I should say, are up and I'll show you those changes that are happening. So let's get started. You and I can hang out all day and just uh, ride around in these cool cars. What you think, Steli, huh? You, yes, are you in? Can you say hi to everybody? Hey everybody, say hi to Stella. All right. All right, so uh, some stuff that we talked about you can do and can't do, for instance, this wheel and tire upgrade, I think, looks amazing on the car. However, you may like the stock look of it. So we have uh, your choice of a set of rally wheels with either white letter tires or red line tires, right, which would have been correct for 1966, um, that we can install on the car. Um, that's one big change you can make. Uh, when we get inside, we'll see some other things and some changes as well. Let's see, so uh, this color, like you don't see this color very often and with this interior is one fresh, good look. This has a great sound to it. When it rolls down the road, it's great. I like to do uh, the video and I like to do the quality of paint because I like to show all that. And as you know, as no car in the world is perfect uh, as none of us are perfect. We like to say that this is uh, super, super nice, just like you and I hopefully are super, super nice. All right, so. Um, why does a car cost money uh, more than it did when it was new? Let's talk about that for a minute. So let's say this car had been repainted at one time, ten to $12,000 to do that. Uh, all new chrome, stainless, grill, emblems, headlights, wiring, on and on and on. Now you can start to see how all this stuff adds up. I minimize it because I went fast, but it can cost uh, fifty to 100000 to restore a car. Right, fifty to a hundred thousand to restore a car. You still have to buy the car to restore. So now you can see why it's such a better deal to buy a car that's been restored. Somebody's driven it for a little while, and now uh, you get to enjoy it for a lot less than it costs to have all that done. All right. Lastly, let's go ahead and look at our paint quality here. All right. We can see our letters nice and crisp. Make sure you're asking about that. If you don't buy this car, or you buy a car outside of the safety of the Circle of Flemings, you ask them to do this kind of test for you so you can see, right? And we have all new glass in here and it's tinted glass, right? Um, this is what makes an Impala so nice is it's missing this B pillar. So this is the A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, right? And this right here is missing and when the windows are down, it just looks so sporty. That's why I call it a sport coupe. All right, so many of our clients want a cool car just to drive. They don't really care about under the hood or the trunk and stuff like that. They want it to be nice and they want it to be functional, but they're not showing it, right? And, and to me, I don't really care because I love it just to own it and enjoy it. Or if you want to take it to a show, uh, you can do that as well. So either one that you like is okay. Right? But in the case that you do want to go to a show, you want to be proud when you open the hood. It can't be crusty, ugly, and nasty, right? Uh, and so when we open the hood today here, uh, we say, wow, right? Wow. Correct block painted the colors, right valve covers, right engine horsepower and call out here, okay? Uh, new washer bottle, new radiator, the fan shroud, a battery topper, making it look all original in here. Some things that we forget to ask about. Does this car have power brakes? Yes. Boom. Important, right? It's a big car. You want power brakes. Power steering. Got to have that, right? This has power steering. Many of the cars that you're going to look at out there don't have all those things, okay? 
Again, dressed up beautifully, runs great. Wait till you hear it start. It sounds, the cow tag is still in the right place. It's got the insulation, everything here, giving us some fresh air into uh, the hood area. Just nicely detailed, radiator painted. Everything is not black bombed everywhere. It's just done like if you wanted to go to a show and open it, it'll make you proud. If you don't want to open the hood and go to a show, it doesn't matter. It drives proud. All right, so all new emblems, uh, taillights. The cool thing about these cars is that every year the taillights and things like that changed, right? So that's the way you can kind of tell the differences. Maybe the body didn't change so much each time, but uh, uh, it, did, it does do that. And so that's kind of a good way to learn about cars, right? Um, stainless, great sounding dual exhaust, okay? All detailed underneath here. Right, reverse lights in the bumper, and then if you want to, depending on whatever, this is a functional car. What does that mean? Well, first off, it's a performance car with a 396 in it, but it's a functional car in the sense that you could throw some luggage in here and go to the beach for the weekend. Could you imagine how cool that would be to go to the beach in your 66 and Powell, like it's circa 1966? Um, or throw some chairs in here, go to a car show with a cooler, right? You can show this off as well. Looks nice, nice new moldings and weather stripping and all that good stuff that's here. It's just ready to go and it makes it very nice that the simple fact is not only is it a muscle car, but a functional muscle car as well. All right, so we're doing this video here uh, amongst a lot of other supermodels in the showroom. Um, However, this car out on the road is pretty spectacular. It's got some, uh, it's got a rumble and a look and a feel. Gets a lot of thumbs up when it's out there. Uh, but let's just say that you decided to drive to work on Friday, man, and you decide to drive your Impala to work, right? And you walk out and you're going, man, this car is great looking. This is my car. Wow. All right. So you're going to go get inside. And this is where some of the other changes and things like that that I wanted to talk about would be happening. Okay, so uh, this is a six passenger car. We can convert this to buckets and a console if you want it and make it a floor shift. We do it all the time for people, not a big deal. This is started out with such great bones. The interior is all new. You can see the door panels, rear seat covers, headliner, dash, all of this stuff is brand new uh, and it's beautifully done. We ordered custom floor mats for it. They're supposed to arrive today, all right? But I wanted to get the video done before uh, before that happened, and so this is the opportunity to do it. This will be much more nicer looking with that. This radio will not be here, okay? We'll either put this in the glove box, which cleans up this whole dash, and leave the original AM radio here, or we'll go with... Uh, a retro sound radio, we'll still get rid of that right there, but it'll still have all the features of this radio in here looking old school, but still have modern upgrades in it. Full size glove box is there. Uh, the pedal dress up is on here because again, back to my original statement, a lot of people say, wow, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why. And in this case here, we have a two tone interior. We have the two tone dash, right? This is kind of a, a luxury version of this car. The pedal dress up with just not the rubber pedals, but with the chrome and trim and stainless around it as well. The interior door panels are not just flat like uh, some other cars you see. They're embossed, they're very nice looking. This also has some nice features. It has tilt wheel, okay? And it also has a super rare feature, a telescopic wheel. This was very rare in Impala. It was an expensive option. Very few people ordered it, okay? Um, and then we have these auxiliary gauges here. If you don't want them, we can remove them. If you want to uh, move them somewhere else, we can do that too. But they're here, they're functioning, they're working the way it's supposed to. But at the end of the day, imagine going out with two other couples in this car right to dinner. Like dinner is very different. Going out with the kids, throwing them in the back, going to get ice cream or dinner or whatever. Going to dinner with just a significant other or going to dinner by yourself, <laughs> whatever, man. This car, when you fire it up and you're going down the road and you're wheeling your cool Impala, it's just really, really nice. All right, so we close up this video on uh, this really nice car. Okay, so let's run down some stuff. We already know it has great paint, right? Uh, we know that the interior is all new and looks beautiful and we can make some changes to it if we wanted to. We can have two completely different looks if you want. We can have stock wheels and tires, rally wheels and whatever, uh, or these bigger chrome set here that is just a, looks really nice on the car. The engine dress up in detail is nice. The trunk is dressed up in detail and nice. This sounds good. It goes down the road. It has great power. Like this is exactly what you're looking for. It's a 66. It's super stylish. 
We got some visitors here who love 66s as well. As soon as I said we're doing a 66 Impala, they both showed up. How are you doing, right? Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this super cool Impala. If you don't mind, hit the like button down below. Uh, that helps us get the message out. Subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And maybe share it with your friends. They might like it as well. And I'll see you on the next one.